<sighs> oh my god, my hair is doing something that it's just, I don't even know what it's doing. I literally cannot wait. This is the part that bugs me the most. But anyways, it's not about my hair. I will have a wig on at the end of this video, I promise. But you guys, today's video is dedicated to the new movie coming out, Cruella. Now listen, I'm so, so excited. And no, this video is not sponsored by Disney or 101 Dalmatians or anything like that. This is just me being a huge fan of Cruella because literally one of my favorite villains ever. Like, I'm literally obsessed with her and Ursula, like literally two of the most iconic villains ever. And I'm just literally praying Disney does not fuck this movie up for me because lately, I don't know what it is, lately all these movies that have been coming out are just whack and I'm like so like praying, please don't fuck this up. I mean, honestly, the previews look really good. Like I said, just don't fuck it up for me. So today, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and dedicate a look kind of inspired by maybe Corella 101 Dalmatians kind of thing. I'm thinking about like spotty kind of eyes and red lips, very that, very just, very my dedication to the movie coming out. All right, you guys, so my brows are on. Everything is pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna start with eyes first today. I kind of don't really know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm just really thinking about like very spotty polka dotty like eyes. Wait, hold on. Does Dalmatians have polka dots? Like I want to know what the Dalmatian spot looks like because I really don't have a clue. Series pull up Dalmatian print. Let's go see. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so images Google. Thank God for Google you guys because I just I mean they kind of look like spots. See, look, it kind of looks like spots. So we're gonna kind of create something kind of on this line. I mean, this kind of vibe. So I'm kind of like excited for this one. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna keep that image up. Anyways, get a little closer. Let's take a look and let's get into a little Dalmatian moment. Okay, so thank God I really pulled up that photo because I was like, okay, so how do I do like Dalmatian spots? It's almost like you want to be careful. Like you don't want to make like cow spot, cow print or any other animal. I'm thinking I'm going to use concealer. Like I feel like concealer, like maybe a little KVD concealer. This is the locket cream um, to kind of really whiten it out. I don't know. Or maybe should I do like uh, like almost like liner, kind of pulled in, white. So I'm gonna get some of KVD Vegan Beauty. This is the Locket Cream Concealer. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna literally shape my eye almost like a, I wanna say a really thick, big wing liner. I really, really am envisioning like really almost like cat eye pulled out, very clean and inside is where all the spots are going to be. I think that's kind of like what I'm envisioning right now. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of this white light L1 color concealer on and then just kind of like really shape it. And then for this, you guys, because it is a concealer, I'm gonna wanna like literally set it because you don't want the concealer to kind of roll around. Oh, perfect. Okay, so see how I'm like literally taking this brush and I'm just kind of shaping it into a winged liner. FYI, you guys, I think this concealer is like four years old, to be honest, because this is when Kat Von D said this to me. So Lord Jesus, I hope and pray do not have any side effects from this. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it a little bit here. I kind of want it to be a little bigger. That looks good. Like that's probably enough. I think I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna go a little bigger because I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna outline it with a thin line of black and I'm gonna go ahead and set this right now with some white eyeshadow. So I will be pulling out Jeffree. This is the Jeffree Star. This is the, the cremated eyeshadow palette. It's the whitest shadow I can find. Take a flat brush and then let's go ahead and set it with the purest, most flattest white you can find, you guys, okay? So we wanna like really set this. And the reason why I'm setting it now before I do my other eyes is because concealer, you really wanna like set it before it dries and get all like clunky. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do that. Okay, all right, so now, we have it pretty much as white as we can get it. Let's go ahead and get the other eye situated. And honestly, you guys, concealer on the eye, a lot of people kind of probably ask me like, why don't I use it for bases? I actually used to. If you use like a hydrating concealer for the eyes, it does get kind of slippery because of the hydrating ingredients. So I'm gonna get this eye to kind of really match the other eye. Okay, and I think that kind of matches the best I can match it. So let's go ahead and just really pretty gone spot girl Okay, all right, so now let's go ahead and set Yeah, I did that fucking fast set that eye. I want you guys to make it as white as you can be I'm thinking should I just keep my eyeshadow matte today or should I put a little shimmer on it like a little you know Maybe mad. All right, next you guys, let's go ahead and pull out a little wipe. I'm gonna clean up all the fallout underneath my eyes uh, because we really, really wanna make sure 
This is a very clean, clean cut, almost winged liner. And this is also going to go ahead and make sure you guys' this concealer is flawlessly not dirty or mixed with color. Ooh, I love how sharp that is. All right, you guys. So next, go ahead and pull out your favorite liquid liner because right now what we're going to do is we're going to outline this light, this um, white shadow to really give it like that kind of cartoony cut like almost like almost like just like a perfect kind of liner kind of moment and then we're gonna bring in the black and that's where we're gonna go ahead and do the spots so i'm gonna pull up my favorite liner um obviously you guys my favorite liner is house labs now this is literally one of my favorite liners i recommend this liner to everyone um honestly they sent me this in pr when they launched and i still have yet and i use this every single day you guys um and i still have so much in here like i don't think that this liner is gonna go ahead and run out anytime soon we really want to be very careful because i want you guys to do a very thin line i don't want it to be very i don't want it to be thick i want it to be very just thin and crisp let's go ahead and just kind of start right here like that's kind of like how thin I want it. I don't want it to be so thick. So I'm gonna start in the middle and then pull out versus starting here and then going all the way out. Your hand movement, the weight of your hand, you can probably have like a higher chance of messing up. So I always recommend splitting it and kind of starting working little bit by bit, like so. Oh my God, are you serious? <gasps> Bitch. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, that's an easy fix. So keep the concealer out and let's go ahead and just clean that up. <laughs> Back to what we were doing. Get the liner. And let's go ahead and just, you know what it is because I can't see. Oh, I did it, you guys. Oh, okay. This is like the base of it, okay? So hold on. So let's go ahead and pull up the Dalmatian print. Okay, I'm a little scared. So it's just like a bunch of random little spots to be quite honest. It's not like hard. I mean, I don't think it's like hard. See, right? It's like little spots. It looks like little like cows. Not cows, but it's like, you know, you get what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my left eye first. The reason why I did the black liner, you guys, is because this is why. So you wanna kind of draw like spots. See, this is why like you don't really need it to be perfect. So what I'm gonna do first, you guys, is I'm gonna start with my big spots first, and then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of like fill it up with little ones, okay? So, so these are like my big spots. And when you guys are doing this, make sure your eyes are as open as it can be. Cause you guys know like my eyes, like my lid, my lid literally like stopped right there depending on like the product you don't want your eyes to kind of like roll it i'm not too sure if i'm gonna do a winged liner or not god these liners are not letting me have it Ooh, how's that all right you guys so now let's go ahead and get the spots on the other eye remember to start with your big ones first and because they're dalmatian spots like you don't really need to like make it perfect i mean if you can make it perfect kudos to you i'm loving this oh my god i love it look at like, I'm actually very, like, excited about this. That being said, you guys, how was that? Look at that. I'm so excited. All right, you guys, I'll be right back. Let me go ahead and put on um, some foundation. Let's get some skin on, and then we're going to go ahead together, choose a red lip to kind of go with this, because, I mean, it's, come on, it's like literally Cruella, black, white, and red. Hello. I'll be right back. <sighs> oh! Oh my god, you guys, I've had like the most fucking stressful, like literally lash day ever. Like, y'all, I could not get these bottom lashes to even save my fucking life. And I just realized like I have a bald spot like right here where there's like no fucking bottom lash. But hi, how are we doing with this look? Um, okay, you guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and pick a lip. I'm obviously gonna do red. And I wanna try this red lipstick that just came out with Jeffree Star Cosmetics. The Velvet Trapped Lips came out and he actually uh, came out with one of my favorite all-time reds that I use all the time, which is, by the way, Red Rum. So, uh, we have the liner here. Literally, Red Rum is like, honestly, I have, it's like top three favorite red lipsticks that I've ever used. I'm literally going through all of these, uh, these Velvet Trapped shades. Okay, so Red Rum, like I was saying, Red Rum is just one of my favorite uh, red lipsticks ever. It's just like the perfect red for my skin tone. I'm obsessed with it, I love it. Um, and today, like, I'm thinking of just either gonna do a juicy red lip, or do you think I should do like a kind of like ombre? I think I'm gonna do juicy red because I'm not really a big fan of ombre lips. Like I just think ombre lips on me, it just does not look the way it should. Um, So I'm thinking I'm gonna do like red, juicy, just, very like Koala, like very that vibe. So got my liner here. Let's go ahead and check out this red lip. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just line my lips. See, it's just like the perfect red. Ah! I totally, 
Okay, totally broke it because I was like pressing so hard. It's crazy because I always overdraw. People are always like, you have such like nice lips. I'm like, uh, <laughs> mama. I overdraw like crazy. Okay, so I kind of know like what my lips are gonna look like. All right, so now we have the lip shape liner, whatever the frick it's called. Um, we're gonna go ahead and try the new Velvet Trap. Jeffree Star literally just sent all over the shades. I went ahead and did a live the other day on unboxing these. I am so obsessed with the fact that he did red rum and A plus for the packaging. I am obsessed with these packaging. And honestly, I said in my live, like you could not take his packaging away. Like that's just on period. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply red rum with red rum liner. <laughs> oh my God, look at that. Oh. Oh my God, I just love Red Raw. Actually, you know what? I kind of want it to stay matte. I love like just matte lips. Oh God, I love it. It's just one of my favorite fucking reds in the world. Like I just, I'm just so obsessed with this red. It's like perfect. All right, you guys, so now what we're gonna do is that we're just gonna highlight a little bit on the nose and then I think I'm ready for a wig. Like, ready to change into my wig because y'all know y'all cannot take this hair. I'm gonna do a little highlight off the Huda Beauty new highlight quads. Um, they just literally came out with this palette where it's like little, literally like miniature size, but the colors are so beautiful. They came in four different shades, four, eight, 12, 16 new highlight colors. So I am obsessed with this one. This is the, I wanna say this is the lightest one. This is the light glow obsession. And it's just like amazing. Like we have not had like a new highlighting palette in like ever. So I'm just gonna highlight here just a little bit to kind of give it like a little glow. And then we're gonna do just a little bit more blush because I love a good like face with blush. See how like right here, especially my cheekbones, you guys, like it's really, I hate this like weird like highlight area and this like contour. I like a little transition there. So as you guys are watching, take a look. I'm just gonna literally just start to kind of fade that in. See that? Oh, perfect. And then ta-da. Oh, setting spray. Last but not least, you guys know I always top off the end of my makeup with a little bit of setting spray. Today, I'm just gonna use the Continuous from Morphe because I'm not gonna keep my makeup on long and then you guys, bada bing. So I'll be right back. Let me go ahead and slap on a wig and just get the heck out of this. Oh, this hair. And bam, bitch, there you guys go. Oh my God, you guys, I have not worn a wig in so fucking long. Like, I literally look like, I should've did my hair up. Low key though, like you guys, I literally should've did like a little, like tight black hair or like white or, I don't know, I don't even have white hair. I was just thinking like maybe black hair would've been like, it would've been it. I'll be right back, let me go ahead and change my wig. Let's, 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 let's see. Let's see what the black wig looks like. Okay, so what about this one? I think this is the winner. I think this is it. I, th I wish I had like a little white stripe or something, but you know what, bitch, I actually think this is the wig. I think this is the one, you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys, I had so much fun doing this de little Dalmatian look for you. Uh, actually, not Dalmatian, Cruella the Bill. Um, I'm like, honestly, like, I was like, wanting to do this look for a while. Like, you guys know I love a little, um, wing spotty kind of moment. I did this I did this kind of like similar eye look the other day on my IG. So if you guys are not following me on IG, go ahead and follow my IG at Kimura Black. And also, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button on the bottom of this video. I would love to see you guys every single week. Oh yeah, you guys, the time has come. But the next video is a very, very, very important video. It's a video um, not only you're gonna see me, but you're gonna see my partner. Now listen, y'all don't, don't understand. I don't bring my partner on uh, on YouTube, on Instagram or nothing. We have a private life, eight years in the making. Um, and this is a video that we are very, very proud to make this week. But you guys, this video coming up, there's a launch day. We are launching something that we are so passionate about and it is finally here, handcrafted, done and ready to go. Um, and this week is gonna be a very big week. So make sure you guys are following my Instagram. Um, I'm gonna have everything linked down below, um, all the Instagrams of the new launch uh, project that we are about to launch very, very soon, which is like soon. So this video is gonna be the introduction to it. So make sure you guys are gonna watch this week's video coming up. Literally, I'm so excited. I can't wait to do this and you guys are also gonna meet him too. So in the meantime, I love you guys so much. I cannot wait to watch the new movie, Cruella, um, and I hear what you guys think about it. So I hope Disney does not fuck it up because if they do, I am gonna be so motherfucking pissed. Other than that, I love you and I will see you guys in a few days with a very big launch announcement. 